other symptoms might they complain of? Am I yes, might have difficulty passing the urine. Am I the urine? Am I the Yes, blood. Pain in passing the urine. Why might that be? Do you think? Why? Why should they have pain? It's, it's not the cancer that causes it so much. It's the constriction. It's the urinary tract infection because you've got outflow tract obstruction when you've got a greatly enlarged prostate, and it comes somewhat later in the disease. Um, so, secondary urinary tract infection. So, nobody mentioned none. That's actually the commonest symptom. Somebody's diagnosed with prostate cancer with a PSA, a prostate specific antigen, taken for some other reason or for screening, they have any symptoms. So, gentlemen, you're too young, you're too young. Actually, most of you are too young. Uh, however, the bad news is that many of you will get cancer from prostate. It's a common problem. It's a common cause of death. So that's not quite true. Most patients with cancer of the prostate in the West die of something else. But it's very common in men. You know, they say that patients of 90, and a group of men of 90, 90% of them have got some sort of prostate cancer. So, all the men now are very uh, listening very hard. The women are relaxing, because you're not going to get this. You have plenty of troubles of your own. However, you will almost certainly look after a patient with prostate cancer. And my experience of women doctors, you look after them very well. Very well indeed. So, none. Uh, so, frequency, painful urination, delay or hesitancy before urinating, the feeling that the bladder hasn't emptied completely. These are bladder neck obstruction type symptoms. Blood in the urine, uncommon. And it's when you get advanced, I'm sorry, am I speaking too quickly? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Uh, because I tend to get a bit excited. Uh, by the way, I forgot to say, please interrupt. You can interrupt me if I'm not making it clear or I said something completely wrong. Uh, I do this, it's what happens when you get in the It's when you get advanced prostate cancer, it's that's a very late symptom of any, any cancer, but bone pain and pains in the pelvis or the lower back, that's often related to bone pain or maybe hypnophrosis. So those are the symptoms you're going to look out for, hmm, a bit non-specific. And I, I see people writing, it's a good thing to write because it helps you remember, but don't forget you are the people who given this, always, it's yours. So, the next level, we talked about the symptoms, the next level of which the disease of prostate cancer shows itself, these are the levels of a disease showing itself, its manifestations, is the, sort of the level of signs. So, a correct examination will show an enlarged prostate. Anything else that will show? It will be enlarged and posterior lobe is enlarged and anything else on that? Uh, it may be tender, but something a little more significant. Sorry, somebody said something. Well, what do you feel? What do you feel like? Enlarged and hard. Maybe tender and hard. is good. Rock hard. And anything else? Irregular. irregular. So it's irregular. And you won't feel redness. Okay. To feel it, it will be irregular, hard, and possibly tender. And maybe some associated prostatitis. Is it the bladder? 
the downside. Um, I think Blender's down here somewhere. How about, how about that? It's a little bit difficult to tell with all the light coming in. I can't get the light rid of the light. <laughs> but that, and maybe that, compared to that.